Hello everybody, welcome to SCG News. My name is Aaron Hawkins and the date is January 9th, 2012. U.S. deploys troops in Israel for Iran war. The drill entitled Austria Challenge 12 will involve the installation of troops near Iran's neighboring Strait of Hormuz, the reinforcement of nearby nations with U.S. weapons, and the deployment of thousands of American troops into Israel. The Jerusalem Post quotes U.S. Commander Frank Gorenk as saying that the drill is not just an exercise but also a deployment that will involve several thousand U.S. soldiers heading into Israel. This drill comes on the heels of escalating tension between Iran and the U.S. over Iran's own recent drill where they demonstrated their capability to close off the Strait of Hormuz. Iran announced on Friday that they intend to hold further drills in the coming weeks. Such escalating naval tensions in the Strait of Hormuz, which is the world's most important oil route, shed a new light on comments made by Chinese President Hu Jintao on December 7th when he urged the country's navy to prepare for combat. In financial news, on December 26th it was announced that China and Japan have agreed to bypass the dollar and their currency markets. China has worked out similar agreements with a number of other countries, including Russia. However, Japan and China are the second and third largest economies in the world, making this pact far more significant than those preceding. China seems to be positioning itself for a full withdrawal from the dollar. In national news, as expected, Obama quietly signed the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012 last week. The signing was accompanied by a misinformation campaign claiming that the provisions for indefinite detention for U.S. citizens had been removed. This is patently false. Anyone who would like to verify should acquire the bill and read it for themselves, especially Section 1031. I place a link below to my website, waitingforthestorm.com, where you can download the document directly. As you can see here in Section 1031, the provision for military detention is still very much in place. And covered persons include anyone involved in, quote, belligerent activities. By their definition, any form of protest could easily be labeled belligerent. The OWS, the Tea Party, or any other citizens' movement now face the menace of military snatch and grabs. We need to make a concentrated effort right now to reach out to the police and military and help them realize that they need to make a decision before these unlawful orders are given. If you'd like to participate in such an effort, please visit our contribute link at waitingforthestorm.com for details. And please support the Oath Keepers in their efforts to wake up the police and military. Voter fraud in Iowa. Edward True of Moulton, Iowa has reported that the votes he tabulated in his district did not match the votes reported by the Republican Party of Iowa. According to True, the two votes that he counted for Romney were transformed into 22 votes. Fox is reporting that this error is, quote, no big deal. Such a discrepancy should come as no surprise, since insiders in the Republican Party have stated in public interviews that the Republican Party of Iowa would not let Ron Paul win. Well, I'm not, I'm not speculating. I've talked to the party officials. I know they're concerned about it, <laughs> because, you know, they, that takes away their significance. In Iowa, you know, they want to keep number one in the nation. And then if you, you know, nominate someone who doesn't have a snowball's chance, that's not good for them. And they know that. So now they're like, all right, you know what, let's cut the you-know-what, and let's get to the real issue here. You know, our relevance is important. The country's relevance is important. Ron Paul doesn't do us any good in Iowa, doesn't do the country any good. We'll never get there. So let's figure out what we need to do. So, yeah, those conversations I know for a fact are going on. It seems at this point that the American people have no more political options. In Channel News, I want to make a special thanks to everyone who's made donations through my website, winningforthestorm.com, both financially and time-wise. Um, I've been really blown away by the outpouring of, of goodwill by people um, really wanting to help, really wanting to do something. Um, I've had a, so many people contacting me that it's been hard to keep up. Um, I want to reach out one more time to ask if there's anyone out there who has experience with server administration, someone specifically who knows Linux. Um, I've been donated server space on a VPS um, server by RelaxInternet.com. These are really good people, and they're doing it because they believe in the message. They believe in what we're talking about here, and they, they really want to help. So um, if somebody can help me get that server set up because it's, it's a bit more than I'm used to, that would be really helpful. Um, so if, if you are interested, um, you can contact me at contribute at waitingforthestorm.com or go to the contribute link on waitingforthestorm.com and see the list of tasks that are available. I've also got some, some things available for people who are interested in helping us make some posters and index cards to hand out to police and military because I really feel that this is one of the most important things that we can be doing right now. Um, and if you have any experience with project management and you feel you could help um, build a structure to help us organize this, um, that would be really, really, really helpful because um, I don't have a whole lot of experience organizing people and I've got so many people coming in that it's taking me a large portion of my day just to respond and I'm not able to get back to everybody as much as I would like to. So if you have anything that you can contribute in that way, um, I really would appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and you guys have a good day.